Hey YouTube, uh, Rest 56 here, and I'm going to be showing you how to download the uh, uh, Industrial Craft. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is uh, showing you just pretty much how to download it. So here's the uh, the mod page, and uh, I will include the link in the description. It's Industrial Craft. Um, here's some videos. Uh, I, well, I also have mine, but pretty much you're just going to need Shaka's mod, more IDs, mod loader, and this. So first, what you're going to want to do is get those two. So uh, on this, you're going to want to go for first the mods right here, and there's all of these things. You're gonna want to download V5. I don't even know what this is. I've never had to use it. Just download V5. So you're gonna have this thing's gonna come up. Minimize it. You don't need it right now. That's weird. All right, let's try it again. Work, please. Huh. There we go. Okay. So it's going to bring you to this page. And you're going to want to go to this one. Right? Yeah. Sorry. So, for some reason, my internet's being really slow. So, once you get to there, let me just show you. So, you're going to have this file here. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to find, you go here, I have Windows 7, but if not, you just need to type in percent app data percent sign, and then you're going to see roaming. Open that up, and you're going to look for your dot .minecraft file. Now, what I would recommend doing is clicking and dragging this here with your uh, right click and drag, and then you can have copy here and create a shortcut. Well, I already did that. I have a shortcut to this, so I don't have to do that every time. So you open this up, and you have all this stuff. So I have I have different things in here. So you're going to want to go to your bin, and you're going to have this, your Minecraft. Now I already, and then you're just going to want to uh, make a copy of that, make a copy of the, that version. So with all your mods in it, you can always go back to your default. But I already have that, so where's my file? There it is. So MC jars. I just made a file of all the mods I have. Now I have a default file with the default jar. Now you're always gonna want to have a default jar here to make sure that um if you do a mod and it's not working, you can always uh, delete that and have and start again with the default. So I'm just gonna make a copy of that to my desktop. So that's the default. This is the default file. Always keep a default. So now, now we have we have the mod loader, and right now since this loaded, here's Sh here's the Shaka's more IDs. You're just gonna want to click download. So that's gonna download here. And let's go back to this. Okay. So now we have his more IDs, and we have the mod loader. Now the last thing we need is the mod itself. So just click download here. And close all this stuff up. And there we go. So now, all we need to do is right click on the default, open with WinRAR Archiver. archiver. And here is our bin. So this is a long list of files. So what you're just going to want to do is you're going to want to first delete this meta inf all it does is make sure that mods don't work so you're going to want to go to well it doesn't really matter the order Clag all this 
and drop it right here into these files, not the folders. You want it to go in the files. Okay. Close that. More block IDs. You're going to want to go to the jar file and get these two items and put them in here. Then you're going to want to go to your mod loader and drag all these files and put them in here. And then there you go. All of that is done. Now here's the Minecraft file right here. Oops. And it's the same thing that we got. So this is this is our new file that we just modded. Now you're gonna want to do since since you already made your shortcut, I already did, or you can go through that percent app data thing. And here's this. Now the way to test if it works, so I have this here, so let me just make a new folder real quick. This is my mod, my current modded thing, so I'm going to put this in here. So I do not have a, 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 a minecraft.jar. I drag this in here, and there it is. Now if I close this, what I should be able to do is run minecraft and not have a black screen. Okay, now it's working for me. Let me load up a file I already have. Um, this is my single player industrial craft. Come on. There we go. Oh, that was weird. Now let's just start a new world. Hopefully it works. It should. New world, yay. Well, that is laggy at the start. Mm -hmm. Alright. So I don't know how good this quality is. I normally use Fraps, not Camtasia, but I needed Camtasia to record my screen. So everything's working fine. But if I dig down a bunch, I'd find the new items. So delete that world real quick. And there you go. Your mod is successfully installed. And say if you wanted, no, uh, that didn't work. I screwed up or something. What you can do is you can just delete this. And then put back the old one that you have, or in that, or in this case, say you don't like that mod; it was stupid. And you're like, "Oh, where am I ever gonna get a new default thing?" So say you did not make a backup copy. What you could do is just close this, open up Minecraft. You're gonna want to go to Options and make sure that you click Force Update. Will Force done? Log in. And right now, it is dra downloading you a new jar file. Now, after this, we'll do its thing. I'll go back to that file. Okay, good. Now, you're going to want to go back to that. Lo and behold, you have a brand new jar file. All good. Now, I don't need that because I already have my modded file. Put that back. Good as new. So, uh, thank you YouTube for watching and I hope this was helpful. If uh, you have any questions, just post a comment below and I'll try to answer it as best as I can.